Hello, welcome to the Gunshot, and today we're going to do a versus video for you on semi automatic versus pump action. Uh, so, what we have here is a Mossberg 500 with a poly choke, and that is our pump action, and we have a Remini 1120 book uh, as our semi automatic. Both fairly comparable, I suppose, in quality. Uh, so, we're going to talk about, I suppose, what we use them for and which is better and what they're for, I suppose. I'm going to start by saying that I believe that both of these are, let's call them mildly uncouth guns. Um, in England, realistically, in Britain, let's say, we don't really use these for very much at all. They're quite rare to see a pump action, certainly. Less rare to see a semi-automatic. But generally speaking, we don't use them for a lot. Um, because they're frowned upon for a lot of disciplines, they leave themselves by the wayside. So. But let's have a little direct comparison against them both. So, a semi-automatic. We have a spring-loaded bolt. You put one in the chamber, and you put two in the mag on a section two, or so on and so forth. The concept being you then pull that trigger, and on this particular one, there's a gas system that pushes this bolt back, picks up the next cartridge, and bang, bang, bang. Very quick, bang, bang, bang. Very easy. The pump action has none of that, it has got manual reloading. So, you go bang, bang, bang. But in reality, excuse the dry fire, it is a Mossberg, so, you know, built for this sort of abuse. You can't shoot quickly and adequately with this. And this herein lies the big problem with pump actions. Quick follow-up shots, if there's no bang, bang, there is movement in between. As smooth as you can be, that is a movement that takes you off target. For clay shooting, so certainly quicker disciplines. Wow. Need to get that safety catch to look to really, eh? That's rather poor. I'm saying most folks don't break, but the safety catches are made of the cheapest plastic in the world. Um, you can't help but pull yourself off target between shots. It slows you down, it lacks concentration, and it takes your mind off the ball. And that is the problem with these. Great for practical, but with practical you have a little bit more time between shots, and you know, the degree of accuracy is less so. It's more about style and um, tactics. So, this is where this one wins. Bang, bang, bang. There's no, they're so quick now. This is a real bad example because they're both old beaters, really. Quick, efficient. You get the inertia ones that don't operate on gas, so they're very, very reliable in that regard. If you don't clean them or anything like that, it's that quick second shot and the quick third shot that comes with a semi automatic that is great. There's no mucking around, pumping this, just bang, bang, bang. Makes shooting very, very easy. However, You'll never get a jam in a pump action because that is you. Simple as that. You know, your ejection is powered by you. Your pickup is powered by you. Whereas in this, pump semi automatic will generally be a lot more cartridge fussy. Uh, which one will I choose out of the two? I, I own both. I don't really use either in particular. The pump action is tons of fun. You can't beat the noise that they make. However, in terms of actual shooting, and if you're in need of a gun for vermin control, which is about all these things are really socially acceptable for, you cannot beat the quick shots of a semi-automatic. You just can't. Bear in mind though, if you're gonna buy cheap, cruddy, cheap ass shells, they will jam. Think about what you're buying, spend a couple of quid, you'll not have any problems. Or buy a good auto. Most good autos will cycle just about anything 28 grand plus. They just uh, sound good. And that's the reason I own one of these. You know, in the UK we don't buy guns for home defence or anything ridiculous like that. What we really have is guns for sport. Guns for hunting, guns for sport. That's, that's it. And the, the pump action isn't the best at any of those. I understand if you're putting your life behind it, I buy one of these. Because there is every time guaranteed. Firstly, that's a scary noise. And secondly, you know, it's not going to let you down, but we don't do that in England. That's not something that we need a gun for. No one's going to break into your house, and if you do shoot them with a gun, you're the one going to prison. So, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't buy a pump action apart from for fun or practical shooting. 
Whereas the Samuel Smatic is much more useful. So if you buy one of these, you can use it for just about everything. And you can use it for everything well as well. And that's the beauty of it. As much as you might get frowned upon, and everyone look at you funny, this is what I would choose. But I'd choose one of those two. Buy one of each. They're cheap. There's the beauty of Samuel Smatic, they are cheap as chips. And that's quite a nice thing, really, isn't it? So, as derogatory, I've been about both. They both have their places. Both have their positives, both have their negatives. Try them, see what you think. They're useful to have one in a cabinet, and that's about all I can say.